All right, so in this video, I'm going to be going over all my Fire Mage macros that I'm using currently. And I know that you guys have been asking for it for so long. And I'm sorry that this video took so long to get out. Uh, but I finally killed my laziness and uh, got right onto it. Uh, so in this video, uh, all the macros that I'm showing, I highly suggest you use all of them because they're very helpful. And it makes it really convenient to PvP with. So let's move on and get going. So for macros... The first one that I want to go over, the first set of macros I want to go over are the stop casting macros. And if you add slash stop casting to whatever ability, uh, whenever you actually press that ability, it will stop casting whatever you're casting. Uh, so it's especially important for fire mages because when you're casting as like uh, a warlock or, or like healers, you can just jump or strafe and move and it'll cancel your cast. But you have Scorch, which you can use on the run. So this is not, you know, a method you can use to stop casting. So instead of always having to press Escape, if you add Stop Casting before spells, like important ones like Blink or Dragon's Breath, Ice Block, Counter Spell, uh, then it can really make it a lot easier on your play. Next, I'm uh, moving on to Focus Macros. And I'm sure everyone in the entire world of Warcraft knows what Focus Macros are. But if you don't, um, how Focus Macros work is you can set a target on Focus and use important abilities like Polymorph, Counterspell, and Spell Steal on that target without having to actually set them as your real target. So this pretty much means you're managing two players at once rather than just one. And you can use your important abilities on a different target without having to set them on your target. So it makes it a lot easier that you don't have to keep switching uh, your targets. Target, target, target. One really good macro to have is a set mouse over focus macro. So in arenas you have focus one two three macro so you don't need this but in open world pvp and like battlegrounds uh you can mouse over whatever target you want to focus and then you press this macro or you yeah you press it you first keybind it then you press it and then the target that your mouse is over will become your focus so this macro is just amazing i also have a cancel aura ice block macro so whatever spell i add slash cancel aura ice block to it will take me out of ice block so say I'm sitting in Ice Block and I want to come out preemptively, then all I have to do is press my Infernal Blast and it'll bring me out and I'll get my proc. Next up we got Party Macros. And these macros are to assist your party members. So I got one for uh, Remove Curse. So what I do is slash cast and then in brackets target equals and then my partner's name. Uh, in this case my healer's name. And the good thing about these macros is you don't have to keep erasing the names. You can actually add multiple players in here. So if you play with a lot of different healers, uh, this is really nice. Um, and I also have another dispel curse macro uh, for my other partner. So one for my healer, one for my DPS. Uh, and then also uh, I sometimes like to use Ice Ward. So I have uh, party macros for my Ice Ward so I don't have to actually click my partners to ice ward them so yeah you should really have remove curse and ice ward macros if you do use ice ward so the next macro is our spell steal macro and into my spell steal macro i like to put slash cancel or a hand of sacrifice and if you don't know what hand of sacrifice is it's a spell that paladins get in this case holy paladins specifically and uh, what it does is it reduces damage taken on whoever you use it on and the damage that it reduces and absorbs uh, hits the Holy Paladin. So for example if I'm casting a Polymorph on the Holy Paladin he will quickly hand a sacrifice his partner so that when the Polymorph lands and we're hitting the warrior that sacrifice boom it will break the Polymorph uh, because the damage he is taking is breaking the CC. So when you actually spell steal the hand of sacrifice off the main target, you want to also cancel it off yourself because if you take damage, it will break the paladin out of CC as well. Okay, now moving on to my last macro, which is for Blast Wave. Now, Blast Wave is an amazing spell. It's one of my favorite spells as a Fire Mage. It does a lot of damage. It really does blast people down. It really lives up to its name. Uh, but sometimes problems occur with this spell. So, for example, uh, say you're doing a BG and you and a warrior are ganking a rogue. And the rogue's like at 5% and you want to use your blast wave to execute him and finish him off because you know that blast wave does a lot of damage. So you just want to execute him with it. But the warrior gets to him first and finishes him off with, your exec with his execute. And you try at the same time blast waving. But right as you blast wave the rogue dies. So it doesn't actually go on the rogue but it just goes on yourself and it just goes to waste because no one's around you. You pretty much wasted your burst right there. So to avoid that from happening, if you add slash cast... Uh, and then in brackets harm and then blast wave it's only going to work on enemies so you can spam it and as long as you're not targeting any enemy it's not going to work 
So this is really good so you don't waste your blast wave like I said. But I know sometimes you want to use it on yourself. So conversely, I have a macro uh, where you can use it on yourself. And Anyways, guys, those are all my macros. I don't have any advanced like one-shot Swifty macros or anything like that. Uh, these are all the ones you need, honestly. You don't need any more crazy macros. Uh, if this video helped you out, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below to let me know you'd like to see more guides. Enjoy, and I will see you next time.